Hello guys, Garcia here. Welcome back to Anti-Tribute. So we are here at Arthur's place. So we need to get some info for the Lily Quest. So let's go. We need to get some info about her sire. So let's go uh, Totem, right? I think that's the name of the guy. Totem here. Okay, so now I can open the car. So again, guys, I apologize for the lack of uploads, but I'm going to be honest with all of you. <laughs> I almost didn't make it, to be honest. It was that bad. I had a terrible couple of weeks, to be honest. My appetite hasn't uh, returned yet. And I can barely sleep. But at least I have insomnia, so I'm used to it. And I, <laughs> I am just walking for some reason. Oh, the guy got me, damn it, the hunter. Where is he? He's behind the truck here, but I don't know which side. Well, I'm just going to run. Whatever. I can fight this guy, but I don't see the merit. So before we go to the hospital, I actually need to... do the gimbal quest first, because I need some extra points to be able to put in hacking if I need to. That said, going to the hospital right now is not a bad idea because of my uh, blood situation here. If I had high persuasion, I could convince this guy to go there. Actually, I have. Uh, I am playing with a guy that has Dominate. Oh, by the way, I changed the audio. I was listening to the last episode and I felt that the sound was way too low for the dialogues. Obviously, I lowered the sound because of this music right here from the... from the quest log but really I much rather have this loud so the dialogue can be loud too you know so I'll just uh, talk louder when I'm here hopefully uh, you guys can hear me uh, I'm ha afraid I'm a little I'm ha yeah unfortunately I cannot bring this guy to the corner here so I'm just going to feed it on him yeah. like right here hopefully it'll be fine I don't need a whole lot anyway. So I'll probably be uploading way more uh, now. I'll be up uploading my normal schedule. Hopefully my, my body will be able to handle. Okay, so uh, where were, was I? <laughs> oh yeah, we need to do the gimbal quest first. So we went to uh, the, the tattoo parlor earlier. Not earlier, <laughs> earlier in the playthrough, I mean. So it's very different. There's a lot of uh, blood and there's a body there too. So obviously not a good start. Yeah. May I help you? Uh, sure, I spoke with you on the phone a, a little while ago. Oh, right, right. I'll buzz you in. Okay, thanks. I think the gimbal fight is fine, as far as I remember, to do alone, but we'll see. Hello! Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You're here for the modeling job? Good, good. You seem to have rather well-developed limbs, if you don't mind me saying so. Oh, who are you? Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Uh, sure. So, nice to meet you, Stan. I'm ready to get started, if you are. Aha! An eager participant! Very good! Just give me a few moments to get my equipment ready, and then come on in and we'll get started. Uh, okay. So if you guys remember the deal, so basically I won't li hear or listen to the dialogues that I like the most. This is one of them. I just love Stanley here. And man, you wouldn't imagine my shock when I found out that the, uh, the Beckett voice actor and the Gimbal voice actor are the same guy. Or both characters are voiced by the same guy. I was like, my god. But then you start hearing it and you're like, oh yeah, this is a, a, just a deeper voice for Beckett. So basically, you can see the traits. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. There's a new quest here, guys, for the anti-tribute mod. Which is the most important quest of the mod, in my opinion. Which is the Gargoyle quest. I think it starts here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's a PC here. 
But as far as I remember, there's passwords down there near near the the place you fight Gimbal. So I'm not going to try now because, as you guys know, <laughs> my guy here only knows how to use toasters. So no way he's going to understand Windows, you know, or DOS, which is what that looks like. Okay, so let's. Keep an eye open for uh, books and differences because I remember a bunch of this mod as you guys know until Hollywood but I don't remember the items so there might be new books anywhere here so that's why I'm randomly walking around here I just got the blood okay oh I know that there's a chest down here too somewhere so we need to open every single door here cannot skip alien my man. So, uh, I think the the gargoyle looks something somewhat similar to the alien model, the literal alien from the movies. You know, it's all black and it has like a humanoid shape like that, but clearly looks more like an alien than a a gargoyle. You know. Uh, five, okay, we, we have four. It's a shame that we have to use the full blood buff for like needing only one extra point to open the door. But it is what it is. Uh, morphine. Nothing here. Oh, there is a chest. Okay. So, can I open this? Hopefully there's some good loot here. Yeah, nope. Damn, we are wasting so much blood in, in this process here. Oh, but that's a lot of stuff. Okay, that was pretty good. And I'm complaining about loot, mind you. We already have the uh, the body armor here. Not the body armor, the, the shoulder pads. And I also already have the, the axe. Which is going to be basically my main weapon for a long time, I think. I don't remember. There's the, the halberd and the hammer, I think, later. Oh, the katana. Yeah, the katana probably is the way, the best uh, weapon that I can get early on. But we need to fight the Asian vampire, and that's a rough fight early in the game. But as you guys know, I explained before, we are going for a full potence build early on here. Just to be able to withstand what the game is going to throw at us before we can get the companions. That's what happens when you play a melee build. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to do that. But we'll see. Huh? Oh, hey, help! You gotta get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Uh, who? Gimbal? Who? Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy! Oh man, where's the key? Okay, so one use of potence should be enough if he's not too strong. Ah, now nah, he's fine. There's some guys in this mod that you fight them and their health bar barely moves because they have so much health. But Gimbo is not one of them. But obviously, Gimbo is a, a human guy, right? Or maybe a ghoul, I guess. Is. Other than him being crazy, I don't think he's like a creature of the night. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. All right, so we can skip yeah. this one. He did? What? Oh no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. I didn't skip this dialogue because this is one of the the most like triumphant uh, choices and victories that the unofficial patch brought to the game which is the trigger finger thing I think in the dialogue if you hear this dialogue in the clan quest mod he actually shows you the finger with the missing part you know I think in the right hand if I'm not mistaken same thing with the gun in the dialogue with uh, Nines Rodriguez in the bar downtown. If you play the Clan Quest version and you, you say to Nines, so you would like a, a meeting with the prince, 
and he says, I got his mating right here. And, that, and he, then he shows his pistol. Just like uh, some uh, little details that the unofficial patch or the clan quest mod, one of the two, adds to the game. That just makes the game way better. Just by showing some stuff, you know? So here it is, guys. So as you can see, it's kind of a, a merman, but just completely black. It doesn't look really like a gargoyle, in my opinion. Pour my gear here. So we need to bring us up a thing to put here. But I haven't done this quest line in so long, so I'm not sure exactly what we need to do to actually activate it. I know that we need to go to Hollywood first, because I need to talk to uh, Abrams. And I also need to talk, need to go to uh, the Chantry downtown. So there's a lot of steps. So we're not going to get this guy for a long time. We're going to have regular partners for a while. Oh, here it is. The passwords. So the passwords for the computer are Stanley, Stonehead, and Big 2. And nothing <laughs> that intelligence. Especially Stonehead. Okay, so I'm jumping everywhere to look for books or things of that nature. Uh, can I open here? No. My blood is so low because of the damn blood buff. Okay. Alright, nothing here. Yeah, I think we are fine here. Alright, so let's go to the computer. So Stanley, uh, Stonehead, and Big Two, right? <laughs> Probably Stanley, right? <laughs> Why the guy wouldn't use his own name? Even like a crazy cycle like this, obviously he was he was going he would like use his own name as a password, you know? Part of his MO. Stanley Gimbal. He would be a great uh villain in a slasher movie. Okay, so let's check first, let's check email. Sorry. Damn keyboard, okay. Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to put the password here. <laughs> I will never be able to hack this. Like, for a while. Actually, let's check orders first. Because maybe he bought the, the thing, the gargoyle. So, Stanley. Uh, Stonehead. Oh, there you go, it worked. Okay. Statue. So, as per your request, I have intercepted the crate containing the gargoyle. Huh, interesting. Intercepted, huh? So, it was meant for someone else. So, you were right. There's no doubt about it. This is a gargoyle created by the hated Tremere, uh, trapped in a torpor for whatever reason. I'm hoping some very potent blood will make it, uh, will wake it from its slumber. I'm investigating ways to secure the most potent blood I can find. Mm, potent blood, huh? Like Elder Vitae or something? Because that we can get eventually. Uh, let's go email. Alright, for this one, definitely Stanley, right? Yeah. So, Stonehenge. Oh, there you go. The cargo has left France. France, huh? Bound for Club Confession in downtown LA. Oh, I see. So, Venus asked for the thing. Probably as a... Uh, to make the place look cooler. Right, you have a gargoyle somewhere there. So, and also the 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 club confession is basically a church, right? So, uh, makes perfect sense. So, stop the crates and acquire its contents before it gets here. So, from Anastasia, I see. It goes without saying that if it contains what we think, it is far more valuable than your pitiful life. Treat it as such. So, there you go. They are threatening him, I guess. So uh, maybe it's like it's his sire or someone that's like above him in the pecking order for some sort of sect. So Vandal, my man. So it's funny you should ask about un unusual blood. There are rumors about something matching that very description here in the SM. Oh, really? Werewolf blood. Huh. So the only question left is what is it worth to you? So can we complete the quest or do we need to keep the werewolf blood for ourselves? I don't know. It's big, you know? Yeah. Penis enlargement. Never fails. 
Seeker. Hey newcomer, are you looking for something? Hmm. Okay, so we found out a lot here. So apparently Stanley either ordered uh, the gargoyle or was ordered by someone to intercept the gargoyle that was going to be sent to Venus downtown, I guess. And he's hiding it here, but now he's gone. So we are the only ones that know where it is. We and the people that are involved with Gimbal. So clearly in this mod, Gimbal has some involvement with some of the sects. I don't know if he's Sabat or not. Okay. So we completed the quest. We have the 3 XP that we need. So just in case. So we need to go to the parking lot to get the final part of the info that we need for the Lily quest. Hopefully they didn't change the car. So it should be this one here. Uh, the water pipe, Lily's journal, sure. With this we can probably do everything that we need. Remember that in this mod here, I'm almost 100% sure that there's no quest to get drugs for... Uh, I forgot the name of the guy at the store. Trip. So we don't need to get drugs for him. So we have one less quest to deal with. But the Hatter quest, as far as I know, is active, so we'll see her pretty soon. Please wait your turn. Uh, I'm just here bringing uh, some personal items. All right, go on back. Okay, so we know Lily's here, so let's just do her quest real quick. Uh, um, I'll look for one. Uh, let's talk to Doctor Malcolm here. I'm so sorry, sir. See here now. I've got a man in. Okay. So now let's save her here. Stay with me. Drink my blood and live. Okay. One thing that I always found funny about the hospital here in Santa Monica is that there's so little people here. And the reason why there's no... Like a bunch of people in every room here. You. Uh, nothing. Let's see if she forgot. I just need some rest. All right. No. So, uh, the reason why they didn't do this, so there's only Malcolm here with the patient, and the rest of the rooms are basically empty. Other than the guy downstairs that give you the, the password. The reason why that happens is because they didn't want to give you uh, a ton of uh, blood dolls here. Otherwise, the game would be super easy because you could come here always and you would always find someone that has enough blood to help you, you know? So they probably decided to just leave one blood though, which is Dr. Malcolm here. Obviously, you can feed on everybody here if you want to, if you don't care about the masquerade, you know? Alright, so I already opened this. Uh, nothing. Already opened this one as well. Oh, damn it. Okay. So let's check this one. This one is going to be a problem. So let's see if we can have... Uh, we can, like, muster enough points in hacking here. I don't think so. So, email. Even if I put the points in... I'm not sure if these are the same passwords. And, of course, obviously, I know the passwords, but... I'm not going to cheat here, so if my character can't get the passwords, I'm not going to do anything. I didn't pay attention, damn it. How much hacking do I need? Let me check again. Alright, if I need if I if I need only two, two is fine. Oh there you go, perfect. So let's put one point in, in the computer here. So remember that this whole confusion is happening here because in the anti-tribute, as far as I know. Uh, there's no book for computer knowledge here in the hospital. Maybe the book is somewhere else, but I'm not sure if it even exists. Strange blood sample. Sure. Uh, I need numbers. Uh, okay. The big deal about it. Strange blood. The sample. Okay. You're on thin ice. 
Oh, I see. The new password is the name of Malcolm's Dirty Little Secret, so it's Paige. If they didn't change the name, right? It's possible. Ah, I'm going to have to use Blood Buff again here, man. This is going to be brutal. Oh, I can open this. Oh, that saved everything. Here is where you usually complete that quest for Mercurio, but we are completed the the one to give him morphine, right? Let me actually check. Yeah, the pain of being Mercurio. Yeah, this is the quest. Okay, so we need to get the info about the lady here, Paige. Luckily. As you can see, they I think they actually lowered the requirements for hacking here be exactly because the book is not here anymore. Uh, let me just randomly click on everything here. Okay. So yeah, no books here as far as I can see. Maybe there is one and I didn't see. Okay. So now uh, we already did this. So we can threaten the guy now. I told you. You're Malcolm. So your wife know about your affair? Get out of here! Can't you see I'm? Uh, I guess you don't care if your wife finds out then. Are you trying to blackmail me? Yeah, actually. Uh, then I'll go forward that email from Paige. <laughs> Wait now. What do you want? Uh, seventy-five. Deal. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to drop it off later. You know, never speak to me about that again. Okay. Put it in the mailbox. This is the worst dialogue in the entire game. Nothing in this dialogue makes sense whatsoever. First of all, why would you blackmail a doctor for 75 bucks? Is like beyond me. Just ask for like 5,000 or something like that. Second of all, you reveal your location to a random guy that you are threatening. So he could call the cops if you wanted to. Which is completely random. There's so much stuff wrong with this dialogue. Alright, we don't need to talk to her anymore, I don't think. Uh, yes, it's already on the completed list, so... Okay, so we need the blood and we did the quest for E. The blood is up there. We have Dominate, so I don't think we need to kill the guard, which is good. I actually have a lot of humanity here, and I'm not play playing a Toreador, which is a, what I usually play in this game. So that means that I'm not going to take a big hit to my humanity if I need to kill the guy. But I'm not going to. Dominate probably will give me the option to just get the keys from the dude, right? If they didn't change that part. Well, or not. There you go. So they did change it. So I need to fight right away. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't need to fight. That's the big advantage of playing with a Potence character. Potence is probably my second favorite discipline. Uh, first being Presence, because you just press a button and stuff happens, you know, you don't need to worry about anything. Oh, I didn't lose humanity. Interesting. Maybe that's because the guy started the fight instead of me? Well, I'm not sure. So, you need to check everything. Let's see. Uh, hey, Jason. Panacea. Where are you? We already done that. Okay. Uh, I have the. I don't remember the. <laughs> Probably my best bet is to just start opening stuff with Blood Buff. That's the biggest advantage of Blood Buff being so potent in this version you don't need to worry about having to come back to open anything because you can basically open anything already like my lock picking now is seven that's insane that's good enough for like hollywood already and we might even get some books along the way we'll see if there's no computer book there might not be other books as well, so we don't know. I forgot the ones we got. We got, oh yeah, we got a firearms one, we got a brawl one. And we also got that intimidate one, right? 
I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, we got an, an extra point here. That we are not going to use, but it is what it is. Okay, so this should be open. Alright, so I cannot open this. So we already used Lakers, Panacea, uh, Page, right? I don't need the door, so I just, I just need the cabinet. Sorry. A cabinet. So this should be Page, right? Yes, there you go. So unlock. The one that I forgot is the one for the door, but we don't need the one for the door. It occurred to me that I, I have the key. Okay, so there you go, no problem, and no humanity loss, which is amazing. Alright, so I'm not sure if I need to keep this for the quest. Let me actually check. Yeah, the stone cutter. I think the statue, which looks like a dead vampire body, really? Hmm. Could serve as a resource for the creation of a gargoyle. I need to search for more information. Okay. Alright, so... I don't think this is the werewolf blood that we need, so... If we need some other source, we might get it later. I doubt they would like link the two quests together, you know? Meaning forcing you to not complete a quest to complete another one. I don't think they would do this. The mod creators, I mean. I'm going to enter here just to open that extra door down there. Just in case there's like a book or something. As you guys know, there's nothing I hate more in this game than the damn vents. We are going to have to postpone the Fat Larry quest a lot, by the way. Because I'm not going to do the, the stealthy version. I am not dealing with like 10 vents in one video <laughs> at all. So... Oh, the keys here, okay. Yeah, books. Well, the book for... that was in the... The Bail Bonds place was actually down here, at this level, so I need to look down too. So yeah, I'm not dealing with events, so we need to just have a powerful enough team to be able to complete the quest. Terminator style, you know? But we will, I think, at that point. I know that Nox, which is going to be our first partner, is actually not that great. He's pretty weak, because he's just a ghoul. But I know that Jeanette and Therese, especially uh, Tourette, if you can bring her, the two together, they are decently strong. Good old Vandal, my man. Never liked me. You next up for the needle? Hmm? You uh, you offering? Right down to business. None of. Uh, how much? If you have to. Show me what you got. So yeah, interesting. He actually does not have a Elder Vitae. So it could be the Vitae, it could be the Werewolf Blood, it could be both. Hmm. We'll have to see in the future. Need a fix? Uh, I need to get to the back room. Employees only. Them's the rules of the Queen Bitch herself. Uh, the Queen Bitch, huh? She okay. did. Yeah. Now a survey. Not going to open. Okay. It's fine. Alright, so we can get the passwords two ways here. Let's see if the guy exists in this mod first. Actually, I'm not going to do this yet. Because I actually need the... I'm pretty sure I cannot hack this, but I'm going to try anyway. A freezers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Probably I don't have enough. Yeah, clearly. So I need to get from the guy. The reason why I'm not doing this is because this mod has the, the blood counter, the timer, which means that I should explore first and then talk to the guy and then later feed on him, you know. Lily's here. If they didn't change her location, that is. I don't think they did. I would remember something that crazy. We don't need to be here right now, but I'm going to check it anyway just for books. Not opening this right now just to avoid bugs. It's not the time to open this chest yet. Okay, nothing here. 
Not down here either. Okay. All right. So so far, if we, we were just punching people, the brawl book would have been good, I guess. But we are not going that route. If you were playing like a Gangrel or something, but this is anti tribute, so there's not even the option to do that. There is some tr transformations and classes that have disciplines that summon stuff, but we didn't pick them. Uh, hey man, who are you? I need a pass. Oh, you here for the special sauce? Uh, what do you think? Okay, stupid question, Phil. She's in the freezer. Nice is. Pink, Phil. It's, uh, moon landing, uh, 1969. Okay, thanks. Oh, we got 2 XP just for finding out the code. That's a lot of XP. I think the only quest we needed uh, hacking in Santa Monica is the one we already did. did. The ones we already did here at the hospital. The other ones, the Ocean House and the, the Warehouse, won't be needing extra hacking. <laughs> Ocean House doesn't even have PCs there. So I think I can already start planning, not planning, pulling points put on potents here. We are going to need 35 XP bonus points to be able to finish this, which is a, a ton of points. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that. But that's a, oh, sorry, wrong place. We need to. We already have the password. The password we need to input is here, the place. Alright, so let's check everything else. Okay, nothing here, nothing here. Alright. I don't think they would put like an extra book in like the freezer, but. Let's just check. Okay. Nothing. Ugh, damn objects. Let's go. Who would have thunk, huh? That the the biggest problem that a vampire can face apparently are collision and objects objects getting you stuck in places. You would guess would be like werewolves or sunlight. Nope. Objects, geometrical shapes, and pixels. Yeah, so we didn't see anything of the norm here. All right, so this place can always uh, not crash, but get you stuck. So let's just save here. Uh, hey, Lily. Let me go. Uh, hold still, I'll let you go. Huh? Huh? Let's drink some water here. Oh. Oh, sweet mother of God! <laughs> the shoulder pad looks so weird in my guy. All right, so tell me who you what are. Uh, it's all right. I tried to. Who are My you, name is Lily? Uh, you're the one E told me about. E, you know E. Yes. Uh, thin bloods. I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood from what I. Yes, go on. Rolf, my sire, told me some vamp. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E. See, you should go see E. He forgives you. E doesn't hate me anymore? Uh, no, quite the opposite. I'll go see him. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, about tonight, what I did. Please, don't tell E. It's not- Sure, sure, sure. Not good to tell. I hate the fact that you get a humanity point in this dialogue. I'm going to explain pretty soon. Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less bitch. Uh, what can I do to set this uh, straight? Blood comes from out of the living. Oh, sorry, I clicked on the wrong button. Oh, jeez. Damn, I messed up the dialogue. Let me just fix this first, and then I'll explain the little thing. Blood don't. 
Uh, what can I do to make up for the girl I freed? Now that you let that one go, I have to go out and find someone else to fill the chair. But sure. Uh, where should I look? The bitch who owns me and this place. Yes, right I'm. Okay. So the problem with that dialogue giving you humanity is because you are being kind of humane to Lily. And she's a vampire and she just murdered a guy in a rampage. So you shouldn't never gain humanity for something like that, you know? I'm going to be stealthy here because of the hunter. So this dialogue should be you either lose humanity by not... Uh, by not accepting her in a way so telling her that she's a murderer something like that so you lose humanity okay and if you don't do that if you treat, treat her normally you just shouldn't have any change to your humanity value because then you are covering for a murder so you could actually argue that you should lose humanity either way in that dialogue you know but that's just uh, my theory that is not something that was added, I think, by the modders. So that was not a, a choice that they made. I think the game shipped with this quest like this. Or maybe they restored the quest and restored the rewards that were supposed to be given. So they didn't change it, you know. So I'm going to put the Werewolf Blood here first. There you go. And they will come and get it by the magic of instancing in and out. There you go. Quest completed. So we just need to check the PC real quick. How much money do we have actually? Let me check. We have a thousand already. It's pretty good. Another thing that I noticed when I played this before is that we get paid way more. But obviously because of the combat and stuff, if you are using bullets, you are going to have to buy way more guns and bullets than normally. And more blood, frankly. Oh, this one gave me only one. Okay. So not as much as the other ones. Alright, so we already have 10. So now we need to talk to Lily real quick. But we also need to go to the asylum for... Actually, we need to go to the asylum for three different quests, actually. So let's leave the asylum for last. In this version of the clan... Of the, the clan quest... Of the anti-tribute mod, I'm pretty sure we cannot give back the items to Lily. So we'll just have to carry around uh, this photo here. She usually had like a, a purse or something like that. I'm either not seeing here, or it's just not something that this mod gives you. The items that the lady from the Surfside Diner give you, you know, to give it back to her. We already did the, the dumb vampire quest in the beach. So we should need to come back here, I think. We are going to come back here only for the day later. Hey yo. Hi. How did it go with E? This life's been hard on him. Both of us. But he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there, as long as we're together. Okay, so you kids stay out of trouble, bye. There you go, so I cannot give give her whatever it is that she lost at the diner. You brought my Lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped us, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. Okay, so you're welcome, E. Keep her safe. I'm gonna be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the Jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. Oh, Jack comes out of the box, huh? Doesn't sound good. Actually, the Jack will come out of the box during this mod. 
And the exciting part is that I don't know <laughs> what is going to happen. As I told you guys, I only played a little bit in Hollywood last time around. Other than that, I don't know anything else that's going to happen in the future. I never got any spoiler. I never watched any playthrough or anything like that. Because I knew that one day I was going to be playing the mod again. So we are going to find out together. So, so far, it seems like a, I know what I'm doing here. But pretty soon, <laughs> I'm going to start making horrible mistakes. So, uh, have been reunited. Okay. Oh yeah, so let's do the blood bank. Oh, not the blood. Eh, the blood bank quest first. Where is the, the hunter? Might be on the other side. That's where he was the last time. Okay. So you guys know the drill. Every time I enter a place that could have copyrighted music. I might need to get rid of it, depending on the music. Hopefully, it won't happen here. Ah, damn it! Why there's a guy going down? Hey! Sheesh, is this place always so dead? Oh yeah, more so than you think. I thought coming to LA was gonna be more exciting than Arizona. I didn't come all this way just for watered down booze. Well, due to the blood bank, will fix you up. Just tell him you're here. You're there to donate. Really? Well, that's just a little too creepy for me. Oh, I'm sorry. I mistook you for someone who lived on the edge. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to the blood bank then. I had enough of this place anyway. There you go. So I need to go back to talk to Vandal. But first, let's talk to everybody here. Hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, not much. I'm just... Uh, the master you couldn't talk about? Okay, okay. I... Oh, man. His name's Bertram. Bertram. Uh... Sure, no kidding. Small world. I'm looking for him. Oh man, I wish I knew where he was. I'm getting antsy waiting around for him. I need to tell him some stuff, you know? I don't... Okay, what is Bertram like? Oh man! Uh, how does he get he gets in touch with you? It's cool. What do you do? Oh, man. So, what's the problem? Oh man, this guy, this, this thing got wise to me. Sure. Uh... I'm not going to berate the guy here. Uh, want me to take? Uh, want me to take care of it? Hell yeah! Right on. Okay. No. All right. Right on. Sounds good. See ya. All right. So we got another quest. So we need to go talk to Therese now. Oh, I need to talk to the guy for that. I'm looking for Therese. Therese, she's upstairs. Uh, I called earlier about the bartending job they need to fill right away. What? Are you serious? I've worked for that bitch for the last 15 years, now she's replacing me? Well, you can go take the elevator over there and tell her she can kiss my ass. I'm out of here. Sure, sorry. There you go. This dialogue is here basically because it's a, a revenge dialogue. If the guy mist mistreats you early with his in his first dialogue, you know? You can just pretend that you are going to get his job. So the ring is still here. So let's wait for the dialogue to go. Every single piece of music in this mod is loud as fuck. Every single one. So I was thinking if I should just keep the sound low all the way through. Not only because of the horrible menu music, but because of all the songs that have been replaced. But the most important part of Vampire is actually uh, the ambience, right? The the world building. So it would be pointless if we couldn't even like hear the people talking. The dialogue lines are just as important as any quest or any style of combat that you can use in the game, right? So I decided to keep it high. That said, it's going to be annoying the entire game <laughs> because of that choice. As you can see, the song is still super loud inside here. It shouldn't be, but it is what it is. Please come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. So let me think. Uh, 
Jeanette, she was no trouble. Nonsense. She's nothing but. Uh, actually, I liked her a lot. <laughs> Under the half shirt and mini skirt, she's rotten to the bone. Sure. Uh, are you are you Therese? Therese Vorman. Yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Mm, I need to. I need. Oh, I thought Jeanette owned the club. Jeanette is the freak show I keep around to lure in curiosity seekers. She's very good with the clientele, but her business skills are approximate to those of a four-year-old with a one-dollar bill and a five and dime. Oh, so I need to call you to call off the feud with uh, Bertram? Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so unclean. Yeah, I, I love when she raises her eyebrows at the end there. When she says they're so uh, unclean. It's the most perfect moment, dialogue-wise, in the entire game. That's why I'm not skipping anything. This is probably my favorite dialogue of the entire game. So, uh, why do you hate him? He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Okay. So then can you put the, out the word that you've got a no feud with him, please? Why would I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? So that's unfortunate, but I do need to see him. Tongue and his co-conspirators' actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug, but in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. I see. Uh, gladly. So what do I need to do? Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Okay. Uh, I will do it if you promise to call off the field. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Okay. I can respect that and appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, goodbye. Before I forget, take this. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Uh, sure. There you go. So, trying to kiss her ass as much as possible here. We are going to need that if you want to bring the two ladies together. But. I need persuasion too, so I'm going to need to put at least one extra point in probably scholarship because yeah, it's more doable here. So from now on, I think I'm not going to use this, these points that I'm getting on anything, just to guarantee that I'll be I'll have enough persuasion. I don't know if four is enough. I think five is necessary, mandatory for this. But I'm not sure. So let's just do the Asian Vampire quest first. Actually, I need to go to talk to Vandal first, right? And then let's do the Asian Vampire first. Hopefully, three potents should be enough to deal with this guy. But remember, every single combat in this mod is a nightmare. For the most part. But let we'll see. Sweet girl you sent up. Uh, not right now, thank you. There you go, problem solved. So next one. Oh, actually, did I talk to Arthur again? I don't think I did actually. For the Carson quest, no. I for the Gimbal quest, I didn't. So I need to go there. All right. So I'm doing a lot of things at the same time here. Um, license. Yeah, I need to go. To there anyway so let's do it problem is the hunter is on that side of town 
so I have to sneak past him. I can fight him, but then the cops will come. And also, I'll probably lose a Masquerade point, so to speak. Oh yeah, he's right here. At least he's on the, the wrong side. Not the wrong side, the, the best side for me, I guess. I know I can fight this guy to get some ammunition, but what's the point? I'm not using guns, so... No reason. Hey, my man. What's shaking? So I found Carson. Unfortunately, he's not coming back. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? Uh, his trigger finger got cut off by a psychopath. Man, that's it. Well, hell. Uh, so, what did you need Carson to find? I got this. All well, right. Yeah. No. Great. Great. Well, he was okay. most. Re that's right. Sure. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Thank you. So the name of the guy for the, the Age of Empire is actually Virgil Crumb, I think. So he's HF. Yeah. Crumb. V. There you go. So let's see if the quest is already at the points. Yeah, I need to go to the hospital, right? At uh, the board. There you go. Alright, so we need to go back home real quick too. I'm trying to run here because I want to actually do the Ocean House Hotel quest for this video too. Problem is that quest obviously is long. That said, it's a quest that has zero combat. So we don't need to worry about the potence thing, you know? And his position is so bad. Okay, so let's just go here real quick. Need to feed really soon too. Probably after the fight and before going to the hotel. Can use the, sh the shortcut here. Okay, so so far, as you guys can see, there's not like any sweeping changes. It's basically Santa Monica with uh, like one less quest, the trip quest, and one extra quest, the stone cutter quest. But this quest we are not going to complete in a long, long time. We're going to stay in the, the quest log for a while. Foxy boxes, there we go. So nothing different other than the body here. Okay. So let's go back home real quick. Alright. The funny thing about all of the vampire mods really is that no mod, as far as I know, has ever used the other apartments in the apartments above the pawn shop here or the apartments of the ones that like are in the same place as Mercurius and Carson's apartment they never put like extra NPCs there for some reason which I find like a, a huge waste because you could totally put, put an extra guy here and an extra guy the other one you know So right, right away in the game, you just start a game, just start Santa Monica, and you already hey, are seeing some it's huge differences, Look, you know. I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. But that's not what, calls, how it usually goes. Me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Okay. Sorry, baby. I'll explain. Everything. So let's go back to Arthur real quick because we don't need to go back to talk to, to talk to him basically ever, as far as I know. This mod. Then we can go try, and I'm going to emphasize this, try to fight the Age of Vampire. 
So if we cannot kill him, we'll have to postpone it. But if we postpone it, we'll also have to postpone getting uh, Nox as a follower. And that's not good. But it, it is a fight that basically we have to do it by our, ourselves. Because Nox is the first follower that we are going to get, so... We need to complete the quest. Uh, nothing here. Down here, no, no, no. Here. Oh, there's something here, so where not to be? Sorry. Uh, I press all the buttons. <laughs> Raises your dodge skill, dodge book, doesn't help us. Man, we are having such a terrible luck with the books. Let's just check the reports real quick, just to see if there's something different. I don't think so. Only the usual dates here. So we, we got zero books that are useful so far. Which is absolutely atrocious. So let's go Potence. Hopefully we have enough to kill this guy. The best part is that we actually have uh, the axe, which is an amazing weapon early on. Way better than anything else we could be using here, including all the ranged weapons. Uh, that said, I need to, the guy to be down here. Come on. Oh my god, he's so strong. That's insane. Come on, blood heal. Yeah. That's what we are fighting against here. So if you thought everything I told you guys so far was a hyperbole, there you go. There's no hyperboles here. Every fight is going to be like that. You get it two, three times over. Unless you have some partners to split the damage. He is here. Damn, I used Blood Heal instead of Potence. Brilliant. Maybe if I had more Potence, I would be able to deal with this guy better, but... I need this full right now. Alright, this time we are doing better. Come on. This guy is also going to drop the Katana, which will help us a lot. Oh, Blood Heal is so fast in this mod, my god. That's great. So I just need to use it and then run, basically. Oh my god, I didn't know the guy was here. 5 XP. Alright, we got the machine gun and the katana here. Okay. Second attempt wasn't too bad. But I have no blood left, so I'll probably just frenzy right away. At 24, 13, 22, 15. So right now, the axe is actually better, but I'm pretty sure that if we raise our combat skills, the katana will be better. Okay, so we need to feed like right away, so I need to find the next unlucky indiv individual here. Usually on that side is easier. The hunter is on the other side, so I think it's fine. That's a cop, right? Yeah, but I think I can feed without him seeing me here. So that probably means that I can get Nox right away for the ocean house, but I have no reason to bring him there. Unless there's extra combat there that I don't know because of the mod, but I'm pretty sure there's no fight there. I only remember the Nosferatu being there, and then you're like, what Nosferatu are you talking about? You see? <laughs> hey man. Yo, dude. I did. Oh, thank God. Oh, man. Uh, any idea what that thing was? Bertram said it's like a vamp. Sure. There you go. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, nothing special. Oh man, thanks again for your help. 
So I, I'm not sure if I can convince him to become his, my follower right away or if I need to either use Dominate or use the Animus Constupro. I'm not sure. But I don't need to worry about it right now because I need to go to the Ocean House first. So I have 20 already, which is great. Alright, so... Oh, I need to report to Arthur, sure. Ocean House, okay. Ocean House, not here. Yeah, so I only have the Ocean House quest and I need to talk to Arthur real quick. I probably should feed on the Hunter. Oh, damn it, I didn't see. Come on, come on. I imagine that he will get stronger too when we switch hubs. Meaning the guy in downtown probably is stronger than the guy in Santa Monica and so on. Hey man. Hey there, slick. Information? So what Skip town? Alright. Sure. Uh, all right. See you around there. Thank you. See ya. Arthur is one of the most Hmm, how should I say this? He's one of the worst cases in the game of like a character that could have done way more in the game. You could come back here from like Hollywood or Chinatown to talk to him about guys in Chinatown that are either bail jumpers or famous criminals that are on the loose or something like that, you know? He would have been perfect for that. And the voice line is so perfect that I think it was a waste to have him like out of the story already in Santa Monica, you know? Alright, I'm going to just feed on this lady here randomly. Sometimes it works because he's in the shadow here. Oh man, one second later and this guy would no have noticed. Okay, so I just need to go to Ocean House. What the hell is happening? Someone's attacking me here. Okay, I'm not going to stop to find out. So let's go. So in this mod, one thing, one of the things that like gave me like a bigger impression of the mod, made me remember the mod uh, more than anything else, was the big changes, not big changes, the changes made to the Ocean House Hotel, you guys will see. So the Ocean House quest is more of a horror quest now than it was before. Before it already had that vibe because of the fact that there's a ghost there and there was there were the murders and things of that nature. And you can see some ghosts and all that. But this version is way more geared towards horror than it is than the original one is, you know? You guys will see. Let's go. Oh yeah, we actually need to get a key too. I'm pretty sure there's a, an extra step here that we need to do before we can enter. I think there's a guard outside, if I'm not mistaken. Back in the day, this mod caused me such a... Uh, gave me such unique vibes. Because I had played like... Uh, Final Nights, not Final Nights, what's the other one? Uh, Camarilla Edition and other mods that changed a few things. Oh damn, the guy saw me. But nothing too crazy, you know? This was the f first mod that I played that actually had like reasonable, reasonably big changes, you know? Other than obviously Clan Quest mod. But Clan Quest mod is more about acting as sort of a hub of mods in a way. There's a bunch of, if you think, clan quest mod. There's the Sabbat chapter, there's, there's the extra quests for each clan, right? But, there's also a bunch of like, there's the Kindred for Hire quest line, there's a bunch of extra quests from, I'm not sure for the guys that did the clan quest mod, Burger Master, I think is the name of the guy, that created all of that, or if he just like, assembled those and put them in the mod. You know? Which I think is probably the case. Or maybe they did it like war games. Like there's a main guy that takes up kick Jesus. Takes care of the mod. And there's other people that came in with a quest or models or things of that nature. 
but Clan Quest always felt more like a kitchen sink type mod. And Anti Tribute is the first mod that actually felt like it was different, a different experience. Not like as dramatic as obviously War Games, because that's a completely different game. But as dramatic as you can get without creating a completely new game from scratch, you know? Okay, so I think that's all I need to do. Meaning the extra stuff here. Yeah, my, my sneak is actually pretty bad here because the guy keeps stopping constantly because he keeps noticing me. Yeah, that, that is making me delay everything here. <laughs> Come on, there's no one here. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. You know what? I think I'm going to use Dominate on this guy. Just to be able to walk around here. I have no patience for this. Okay. I didn't want to waste any blood because it's going to be very necessary here. So this is basically the same quest from the base game but darker. So I need to walk around to see if I can find some books or something. I think the story of the place is different. Oh, there's a there was something here. The story of the place is different too, so we need to find the the newspapers that are scattered around for us to piece together the new story of the place. Jason. <laughs> so that's the new ghost. So they mixed the story of Jason Voorhees from the Friday the 13th new movies with the regular story of the place. I do remember that because I remember that I, I laughed so hard when I saw Jason for the first time. I'm, I guess they intended for it to be like scary, but it was more funny than scary for me. I am a horror movie fan, so... Jason is hardly scary anymore. Anything is hardly scary anymore. You get jaded after you saw like your hundredth slasher, you know? You just get used to it. Especially slashers. I find them more entertaining than scary. And have this has been the case for like, as you can see, here it is again. This has been the case for like many years now. Okay, so let's keep doing the regular stuff, but always looking down to check for books, the steps, the banging. Okay. Killer unknown. Always get stuck in this door. Damn door. This is the worst door in the game, by the way. Open, opening it is so slow. So we need the key. So this is one of the two places that can actually kill us here. So I'll have to save. There's usually a guy here, right? With an axe, if I'm not mistaken. So, so far, other than Jason walking around, it's pretty samey. Okay, so we need to run here. Oh, we actually took very little damage. That's good. Because we are going to need our health pretty soon. So now we'll go up. I'm kind of speed running here because the video is already longer than I was hoping for. 
ghost lady. <laughs> there she is. Mother killer. Drowned boy's mother massacre in Ocean House Hotel. So I think that a lot of people that are not horror movie fans don't understand or don't, or don't know really. Especially nowadays, is that Jason is actually not the villain of the first movie. The first Friday the 13th. Actually, the killer is his mom or the mom of the boy that drowned, you know. And the look of Jason, the hockey mask, I think he only gets the hockey mask in like the third. Or maybe even the fourth, if I'm not mistaken. Which means that it took a while for him to become what he actually became. Which is fine, because I think it was either 5 or 6 was the best one of the franchise for me. It was kind of a horror comedy. Or hopefully these objects don't hit me. Hey man, get out, sure. Key? Couple, sure. Usually there's a weapon in these mods. I don't remember which one. Maybe it is anti-tribute. We'll see. I'll check behind every hey, behind every sofa here. The ghost lady is pointing for us. In this version of the story, I'm not sure who she's supposed to be. She's not Jason's mom. <laughs> Machete, there you go, as you can see, it couldn't be more Jason than this. A machete and uh, the Jason sound effect, as I call it. If you never watched the movies, then you have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you did watch it, this took you back right away. I'm joking around, but the first time I played this version of the mod, I was kind of scared, especially because of this. Come on, turn on. Oh, the survivor of the first movie. This. <laughs> this scared me so much. Because The Ring is actually one of the scariest horror movies of all time. The, the American version, the first one. Such a great remake, it's better than the original Japanese version. This is the ring, right? I'm not, I, I'm, I thought I was mixing up with... Mixing it up with The Grudge. Both are Japanese, right? But The Grudge is the, the one they did with the remake with uh, Sarah Michelle, right? Buffy? Which is okay, I guess. Kinda meh. I saw it last year, it's kinda very weird. The ring is way better, not even close. Help me. I also remember the, the spoof version from, I think it was Scary Movie 3 or Scary Movie 4 with uh, Charlie Sheen, right? Uh, the spoof that they did of all the gags they did for this movie, for the ring, were awesome. Man, they don't, they don't do the, they don't make those things anymore, the way they used to. Today, people, in general, are so more uh, sensitive about this stuff. These types of works just simply don't get done anymore, which is a shame. Just a lost art, you know. Be careful. Okay. Yeah, you can totally die here too. We're good. So usually in the base game, the hammer is here. Not the hammer, sorry, the axe. The fire axe, right? But... Actually, let me read the description of this weapon, now that I think about it. This, does, this is not called fire axe, it's called felling axe. Typical weapon for city streets, as it is suitable to splinter enemies into small pieces. Okay. We need to go all the way up here. So we need to check every room with 
an eagle eye here. So hopefully we won't miss anything. Oh, so instead of a book, we have some rounds here? Sure. There are some extra jump scares here too, but I know them, so it's fine. Boy may live. Body of drowned boy was never found. So Jason is on the loose. And no, I'm going to give you the spoiler right away. Jason is not going to show up here. That's not going to happen. So you don't need to worry about it. As far as I know, famous last words, right? My, just bump into him here. Nothing here. I think the book is usually in this one, if I'm not mistaken, on the base one. Dodging the objects. So as you can see, they changed all the music. Man, all specs would be so great now. Everything's so dark. You can barely see where I'm going. Really? The object hit me through the wall? Come on, dude. That's bullshit. So I'm checking the doors here to see if there's an extra door I can... Jesus. I can open here. Got stuck in the lamp. Because why not, right? <laughs> the skeleton actually jumped. They put a lot of voices and stuff. Can only imagine playing this as a Malkavian. Not possible in this mod pack though. Mod pack in this mod because obviously Malkavians are not usually anti-tribute, right? Oh, this is the place I'm going to show you guys. I told you guys that I only remember Nosferatu. I forgot about Jason, which is funny. Here. I was going to show that. I forgot to show it was a jump scare. Hey, man. That scared me a lot back in the day because I was not expecting. I had my back turned. I was just here. And bam, Nosferatu. And I was like, oh my god, he's going to jump out of the screen, isn't he? There's a mannequin here. But no, he doesn't. As far as I remember. I hope you stay there, sir. They are remaking the Nosferatu, if you guys didn't know. I don't know who is going to be the Nosferatu. I did, I went four years to college, did social communication studies. So we actually watched a lot of these classic, classic movies. We, have a, we had a couple of uh, disciplines that were basically cinematic stu studies, so old cinema and stuff. So I watched a lot of the, the old classics from the 20s and the 30s, especially from the horror genre, you know? So I kind of have a soft spot for Nosferatu and Caligari and other movies like that. Come on, survive. Ooh, my god. I should have saved. I thought a full bar of health here would be okay, but man, this was close as hell. Luckily, Blood Heal is so strong in this mod, as you can see. You just click it and it just goes, you know? It's not like a process. I'm healing here because you guys will see. I'm going to explain, but I'll have to do it really quickly. Here's where we get the pendant, right? The But we are burning. Because when we go back in time here to get the pendant, we actually go to a room that's filled with uh, sunlight. So we start burning. So the first time that I played this, uh, this mod, I didn't save anywhere. And I died here because I burned to death. Which is something that does not happen in the, the usual... Uh, bloodlines. Oh, I almost died here, I think. I fell from a super high place here. So, there you go if you guys want to play anti-tribute. 
heal before you before you go to that place. Oh, there you go. Boy drowned. Boy's mother blames hotel staff members. Should have read this one first. Sorry, this is the first one. So that's how Jason looked like in the beginning of the franchise. He went through a lot of changes in his mask, in his demeanor, and all that stuff. The best one, the best Jason to this day is considered to be the one that was played by a guy that's called Kane Hodder, which is a stunt coordinator, a stunt director, a stunt artist, and also uh, an actor. So he was the best Jason by many accounts, or by most accounts. Mine too. So he added some like breathing and some like demeanors to the character that became synonymous with serial killers uh, way, way later. Not way later, for serial killers from all decades uh, since then, you know? The breathing, the, the slow movements, the quick turns and things of that nature. Uh, okay guys, so uh, the video is already quite long here. So that was the Ocean House, uh, the version that this mod has, so it's really cool, really dif different. If you're not expecting, like I wasn't when I played this the first time, you're going to get a bunch of jump scares. <laughs> Especially the, from the screens, right? So we completed the, the Ocean House, so in the next episode we need to complete the Ocean House, or the, the, complete the quest of the Ocean House. We need to fight in the, the Surfside Diner, which is going to be rough as hell. We need to uh, join the two ladies, but... For that, we need to go to the warehouse first. Uh, yeah, I have decent XP here. Actually, I'm going to do this right away before I forget. I'm go just just point, putting a point in scholarship just to guarantee that we'll be able to finish their, the process of joining the ladies. So, uh, all of that is for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.